All right, Chris, this is your swing analysis. On the left, we have our first swing of the day, and on the right, we have our second and final. So on the first swing, as you can see, what this thing did here, club went in there pretty beautifully. We know you worked on that, so that's a good takeaway. As the club starts to come up now, you can start to see, grab a little circle here, watch this right arm right in this pocket. Rather than the club continuing to rotate and stay in this fashion, the club starts to raise, almost like you're just pushing just with your arms rather than turning. The club gets all the way wrapped around your shoulder. You can see the butt of the club is right on your right on your shoulder. What this means is the club now has nowhere to go. You're going to have to move your body. And look at that club. It's coming right in front of you. You have no choice but to fall back. Look at that. Fall back. Club's coming now from the inside, and that club has no choice but to move in that direction. It's either going to go there, or the club's going to cut straight across, and then your ball flight ends up going straight cutville. On the right, you can start to see that in our rehearsal, we worked on getting your hands deeper. What that means is that's going to be feeling like it's lower and behind you. And the takeaway, if you remember what I did, is I put a club went across your shoulders there. I said swing underneath that club. Clip the clubs in. Look at that. We had no more of that right arm bend. And look at that. The club is deeper. And when I had you hold it, rehearse it, we got the thing looking like a looking like a wallpaper like for your iPhone. That was beautiful. That is what I what we need you to do. So if we go back over here to the left, let me clear those for you. Let's clear all of them. Let's go back up to the top. As we, right there, your normal shot is going to be a cut, and that's due to the fact that your club is across the line there. That thing's almost zero. We need that club looking like the one on the left, in which that club is going to be pointed left. And you can see from the one on the right that it happens naturally when you feel like your hands are going low and behind you. Low and behind you. Almost like I had that club across your your arm, and you had to swing under it. You can see that that naturally gets that club point out of direction, right? You, when we take this club up to the top here, let's, let me clear that for you. There's your rehearsal. Let's see what happens when it's game time. Take the club beautifully, take the club beautifully, and guess what? Look at that. That is a 10 times different position than what you had there on the left. That club is shorter, your hands are working in a better motion now when you start to come in. Look at that. Club's actually coming from behind. You square it up beautifully. All right, man, I hope that helps. Continue to feel like your hands are going inside and, lo and low so you can turn that into more of a rotational hit. And uh, I'll see you at your next lesson. All right, man.